Hi everyone, my name's Rob Harris and welcome to my studio. Today I'm taking a look at the new Archetype plugin by Neural DSP and Corey Wong. Um, for those who don't know Corey, he is a tremendous guitar player. He is a member of the band Wolfpack. He's also a member of the Fearless Flyers and he's a solo artist in his own right. He's a great guy. Actually, I we're friends. So um, I was really interested to, to hear about this collaboration between Neural DSP and Corey. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you for a little journey around the plugin and check out some of the sounds. So I've just opened up the Archetype plugin here. Um, as you can see, it's a really, really cool looking interface. Um, I'm just going to take you on a brief tour around to show you what the features are with inside the plugin. Um, I'm going to start at the top and work my way down to the bottom because there's, a, there's quite a few things to take in. So uh, starting here is the wah wah button. So double clicking will turn the wah wah on and off. You can plug in a wah wah pedal, a MIDI wah wah pedal, so you can operate it with your feet. I don't have one here. Um, I'll take you through this later to show you what it sounds like. The next button here is the stomp pedal selection. There's four pedals here. Um, we'll look at them closer in a minute. Then there is the amp section um, where you can choose your different amps and cabs. There is then an EQ section here so you can really fine tune your EQs. Then there's the speaker section um, so you can, it's the speaker and IR and microphone choice section. Uh, and the last one here on the right hand side is where you can adjust all your time base effects, delays, reverbs, etc. The next row of controls here, you've got an input, you've got a noise gate, which is really handy. You've got a mono and stereo button here. Uh, you've got high and normal in oversampling. So it's really handy if you've got a computer that's struggling a little bit on CPU, you can just switch it down to normal and things will carry on working as they should. Um, <clears throat> you've got here is the preset section. So that's for storing and saving all your presets. Uh, then you've got an output here. Now moving down here to the bottom left, you've got your MIDI section. So the plugin does does also work as a standalone um, thing. So you can use it live. You can use a MIDI foot switch to change your your effects parameters and, and amp settings, etc. Um, so that's cool. Uh, then you've got a tuner, a built-in tuner here, which is really good. You can do muted and unmuted tuning, which is really handy. Then you've got these buttons here, which are, let me switch to the amps again so you can see them changing. You've got your three different amps here uh, that you can switch between. You've got a linking button here, so that means you can change different cabs to different amps. Um, which is really handy. And the last thing here on the right hand side at the bottom is where you can resize your plugin. So you can have it small, medium, and large. So I'm just going to dive in and, and show you what some of these amps sound like. I'm going to start on the, the left hand side here. This is the DI Funk Console. Now Lots of funk guitar, classic funk guitar tracks are recorded um, just with a DI guitar. So people like Noel Rogers, Prince, Corey Wong, uh, Paul Jackson Jr., David Williams quite often would just record their guitars by plugging in straight into a preamp on a, on a recording console or an outboard preamp. Um, and then they would add some compression and some EQ. So... Neural and Corey have come up with this great little cool thing which gives you the same thing in one plugin. So starting on the left, so if I bypass it first, so this is the guitar just on its own. And then turning it on. Sounds really good. Uh, you've got a compressor on the left here, so that's uh, and, and a toggle to switch between slow and fast attack times. So this is how it is when you switch it on. Uh, if I boost that a bit. Yeah, 
yeah, that's really cool. Uh, you've got a tube saturation here, which is uh, if you were really driving your preamp when you were recording, you'd get a little bit of just a tiny bit of saturation. So it's very, very sort of uh, slight, but it's really handy. So this is what this sounds like. It's really nice. Um, then you have a high pass. Sweep that so you can hear it. Double tapping the knobs also returns them to the center position. Uh, low pass here. Then you've got your EQ section here uh, with a switchable toggle to give you a bump or a cut at 150 hertz and 225. And then boosting it. It's really nice, really chunky. Uh, the mids work in the same way, uh, 600 hertz, 900 hertz on the toggle. It's really handy. Um, and then the same with the highs. So you can switch between 2.5 kilohertz and 4 kilohertz here. So I'm just going to boost it a bit here, see what that sounds like. That's really cool. And then the last thing on the right here is the volume and then the on and off switch. So amp two here is the clean machine. To my ears sounds sort of a, a little bit deluxe, like a little bit like a deluxe reverb. Um, same kind of settings, you've got a volume here, which will crunch if I turn up the, the, uh, the volume. Yeah, it does sort of grit up a bit. Um, it's really, really nice. You've got a bright switch, which will give you a brightness. And you have bass, middle, treble, that you can tweak to your heart's delight um, and a presence and then an out level and then the last amp here on the right hand side is the amp knob which is uh it's got a really cool feature here when you turn it off the uh the the tubes go uh you know you can turn the tubes on and off which is quite a nice little feature um this is a it's a, it's a nice amp actually Yeah, it's really nice. You can obviously crunch, uh, drive the, the volume up as well, which will give you a little bit more grit. Um, you've got your bass, uh, you've got a bright switch as well. You've got your bass, middle, treble, master, presence, out level. Um, you have actually also got a drive function here as well. So clicking that on will really sort of take things up a notch for some sort of slightly dirty sounds. <laughs> Yeah, it's really nice. Um, I'm going to switch back to the, the clean channel here, and then we're going to go to the stomp section. So Hang on, let me just turn that amp up a little bit there. Okay. Do a few adjustments. 
adjustments here. So um, now I'm going to switch to the effects section. So uh, going to the, the uh, wah wah pedal, switching that on. Uh, what's cool here, even if you haven't got a pedal, you can sweep the wah. If you can see that, I can actually sort of move the wah and get that for that cocked wah wah sound. <laughs> Really nice, yeah. It does sound like a, a cocked wire to me. Um, another cool feature here is you can turn the auto wire on, so it's like having a T wire. Uh, you've got uh, attack, release, sensitive sensitivity control here, so you can. Uh, you know, it, it's very dynamic the way you play it. The harder you hit, the quicker the wah will happen or vice versa. So that's really cool. Uh, I'm just going to turn that off. So now I'm switching over to the stomp section. Um, this is really cool. You've got four pedals here to choose from. The first one being the postal service, which is uh, it's like a an auto filter effect. So this is what this sounds like. <laughs> really nice it, it, it holds chords really well it doesn't break up doesn't kind of you know quite a lot uh, quite often an auto filter will garble and, and get a little bit muddy and and uh, distorted but this is really nice <laughs> Really, really cool. Uh, next one in the line is the Position 4 compressor, uh, probably named after Corey's favorite pickup selection um, on his strats. Um, I will honor this by going to Position 4 on my own. Um, it's a compressor pedal. Um, really cool. You've got a blend knob, you've got a tone, compression, amount of compression, and a volume here. So let's, let's have a little listen to what this sounds like. <laughs> Turn up the blend. Yeah, it's really cool. Um, yeah, so the blend is basically a mix of your clean guitar tone and the compressed signal. You've got a, uh, an amount of compression here, so if you really want to spank that compressor. Really nice, really cool. Uh, the green one is like a tube, a tube screamer style pedal. So um, switching that on, it kind of works very similar to a tube screamer. nice okay um, and the last one is the big rig overdrive so uh, this is a little bit more of a girthy sort of lead line um, pedal or some slightly heavier tones um. <laughs> Yeah, that's really cool. Uh, then you have here your EQ section. So you can you can really sort of tailor your EQs, um, knock out any frequencies, um, really handy. 
Oh, that was actually on quite a lot of that. There's quite a lot of brightness going on there in, in the early demo. Uh, the next section is the speaker section. So as you can see here, you've got, it's like a, a 4 by 12 that they've mic'd up. You can choose different microphone for each speaker cone. Currently, I've only got one on um, active, which is a, a ribbon based on a Royer 121. Um, the controls you have, you can change the position of the mic. So if I just move that around, you can hear it moving. It's really cool thing to have. You can change the distance of the mic, a little bit more air between the, the cab and the microphone. Uh, you've got a level here and then you've got a pan. So, I, you know, I can pan that microphone off to the left or right. You've also got a phase reversal button here, which is a good idea to have. And then there's your active to turn it on and off. Um, over this side, I can then um, turn an, another mic on. So here I've got a Dynamic 57. Uh, so you can get that uh, sort of industry standard of a like a Shaw 57 and a Royal 121. And then, of course, I can pan those left and right. If I want to, I'll do that right now. There we go. Change the distance. You can change the blend of them. Yeah, really cool. I'm going to leave that set like that now. I'm um, going to move over to the time-based effects here. Uh, Stepping on the delay pedal. Uh, this is a stereo delay, so you can have independent times for your left and right channels. Um, so at the moment, it's I'm going to switch it into single, which means that I'm just looking at the left hand side of the delay. So when I kick it on, I can tap tempo it just by tapping on the mouse. You've got a mix control here. Uh, I can sort of make the delay darker using this. It, it sort of rolls off the high end a little bit. And I can adjust the time here. So if I switch it over to the dual setting now, that, that will switch in the right hand side. And I am going to just set this up so I've got um, dotted eighth notes on the left. And where's the quarter notes? There it is. I've just got a quarter note delay. And then you've got a high pass here as well. So you can tailor your, your high end of your repeats. Really cool. Uh, and then... On the right hand side, we've got the wash, which is the reverb pedal. So if I just turn that up, you've got a dry and wet knob here. It's the mix knob. You've got decay. You've got your sort of high end pass here, low end pass here and high end pass here. So really nice, clear, long tails as well. And then one of my favorite things is hitting there, you've got the shimmer button, which will take your delays up an octave, uh, your reverb up an octave. So you get this sort of almost like a, a higher crystallized effect. Switch the delay back on. Yeah, it's 
really, really cool. Yeah, that's really nice. So um, that showed you around the uh, the archetype plugin. It's a really, really cool condensed. There's so many things you can do with this plugin. It's really, really handy. Um, something that I'd use a lot, actually, you know, in the studio. It's great. You know, if I'm away on tour, I could use this no problem at all. Get plenty of sounds. Um, all of the sounds that you heard on the, the previous track were from this plugin. So uh, even the bass I've recorded through it as well. So it's a really cool thing. Neural and Corey have done a, a really, really clever thing here. So uh, yeah, great. I um, hope you've enjoyed it and uh, see you soon. <laughs>